What's up guys, in this video I'm going to give you my take on airline and hotel cards. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button, but for now, let's go. Boop. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on which card you would prefer. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, just make sure that you are subscribed, you participate in the comment section, and you like the videos. I really appreciate it. So I'm just gonna tell you guys up front, I'm going to actually side in favor of the hotel branded cards. And the reason why is because for the majority, most times you're going to get an annual award night for just having the card. Every time that annual fee hits, you're going to get a free night and you know that can be pretty valuable and to name a few cards that will give you an annual free award night are going to be the Marriott Bonvoy business card the Hilton Aspire card will give you an automatic free night the Hilton surpass card does require a 15,000 spending limit over the course of the year to earn that free night um, but you still get that free night plus you get points you know for that 15,000 in spend also you can shoot for the world of Hyatt card the IHG card, uh, honestly, I'd put that one down at the bottom, but they do offer an annual award night as well. But the reason why I would side with hotel cards is because that free award night, and that can be pretty valuable. Now, everyone is different, so this is just what I value. I would prefer to stay at a nice hotel and redeem a free night at that same hotel rather than trying to fly first or business class just because, you know, sometimes you might burn through a lot of points just to get that first or business class experience. Uh, yeah, I know everyone shoots for that, but to me, honestly, I don't mind just taking a coach flight somewhere. It does not matter to me. I'd rather have a better experience at where I'm going to sleep rather than what I'm gonna fly in. So that's just my take on it. Plus the difference between the two, uh, you know, with most airline cards, you're only gonna earn about two points for every dollar that you spend with that specific airline card. And that's not the case with the hotel branded cards. With the hotel branded cards, you're gonna get higher bonus categories and categories for spending are usually pretty, pretty broad, like gas stations, uh, dining. And I feel like that's more in line with someone's actual spending uh, habits rather than only earning two points per dollar spent for that specific airline. The only incentive to actually get an airline card is if you're trying to actually fly as much as you can with that, um, with that specific airline, or if you just value airline miles more than you would hotel points. So there are some pretty good airline cards out there that do offer a companion certificate, which will allow you and your companion to uh, travel. Uh, your companion will actually be able to travel for, you know, basically just taxes. Uh, and to me, I consider that free. So whatever, you may not consider it free, but anytime you're getting a flight, you know, for let's say $11 or such, um, that's free to me. So, um, yeah, so, you know, cards that will offer a companion certificate would be the Delta Reserve card and the Delta Platinum card. Uh, also, if you were to get like the Southwest uh, airline cards on the Chase side, then you would have a chance to earn the companion pass by, you know, reaching the sign up bonuses and reaching 110,000 uh, rapid rewards points. And most people like to do that by applying for more than one Southwest card. Uh, you are only a allowed to apply for one personal card, but you can apply for multiple business cards now. And they have a new increased offer of 60,000 points um, for signing up for some of their cards. And with the Southwest Business Performance card, it's going to be 80,000 points, uh, rapid rewards points to sign up. And once you hit that bonus, then you will get those 80,000 points. Now, if you aren't aware what the Southwest Companion Pass is, this allows you to bring a companion with you and they will travel for basically the taxes. So like I said, I consider taxes to only pay taxes. I consider that a free flight. That could be a, an unlimited amount for up to two years if you time it right. Uh, most times you wanna try to get the companion pass on January and that will last you until December 
of the following year. So basically two years that you'll be able to have yourself and a companion fly together with your companion basically flying free. And you know, if you have 110,000 points, you're gonna basically be able to fly free as well just because you can book your flights with points. So uh, yeah, so those are some good ones right there in my opinion. Uh, and currently the Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express card currently has a high sign up offer back up to the 100,000 point offer that was previously um, promoted back at the end of March. And uh, I do have a link for that card. So uh, that is for the 100,000 point sign up offer. So if you are uh, in the market to get uh, you know, a hotel card and you would like an annual free award night, this card does come with an annual free award night up to 35,000 points. And uh, I think that is pretty valuable to have. 35,000 points will get you up to a category five at a Marriott hotel. So again, guys, I'm going to side with the hotel cards just because I value that free award night every year uh, over anything that I would get with a uh, airline card. So, you know, everyone is completely different. You know, everyone's travel uh, experience is different as well. So you might value something a little different and it's completely okay. Uh, I'm just giving you guys my take on this. So if you're looking for any hotel cards, I do have some links down below. Uh, American Express uh, links for the Hilton Surpass card and for the Marriott Bonvoy card. Uh, and you know, feel free to sign up if you would like to. That would really support the channel as well. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know your take on uh, these airline versus the hotel cards. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date from whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.